So in case you've been living under a rock for the past couple of weeks, a group of people in the Thomas fandom have been working on something special. The special project is a full-on classic series type episode written, filmed, and edited by members of the fandom. The project was given the working title Project Tiger Moth and would be a season 5 custom style episode using prop replicas. Then on the 26th of November 2022, we were blessed with the episode The Good Old Days. I reacted to it live on stream, but I didn't really have enough time to go over my thoughts in full, so let's talk about Project Tiger Moth. Toby the tram engine is feeling glum because he misses the days when he was working on his old line with lots of passengers. After Gordon teases him because he thinks branch lines are vulgar, Thomas comes and asks Toby to help him with some cars. Toby takes the cars to Percy, who is helping prepare an old line, and after a pretty exciting runaway sequence, Toby crashes through the woods and ends up on his old line, ruining the surprise for him in the process. His old line is reopened and the good old days come back. The very first thing I noticed is the VHS look of this episode. Something I always loved about Season 5 is how appealing it looked when it, you watched it on VHS, and I applaud the creators of Project Tiger Moth for making it look like this. Let's talk about the narration. Robert McGee, known sometimes as Wooden Railroad Reviews or Robert M. Productions or uh, Mr. Conductor, narrates the story, and he, he puts his all into making his voice sound like Alec Baldwin. And man, he succeeds! As soon as I heard the first line of the story, I was in shock because of how close he sounded to Alec Baldwin. Something else I enjoyed is that while being closer to looking like season 5 than any other season, something about the sky reminds me of season 3, and I'm not sure if that's just me tripping or if, if anyone else noticed it, but the sky looks like the season 3 sky. Now I'm not complaining, that's just something I noticed. I love how they use the fact that Oliver found Toby's old line in season 5 as a plot point here. They don't mention it in the episode, but I like to think that Oliver found Toby's old line when he was pulling the mail train in the season 5 episode, Oliver's Fine. And once her Topham hat sees it, he has the idea to reopen it and give it back to Toby, hence why we see Toby sleep in his own shed in future episodes of the show. Oh my goodness, the set recreations are absolutely stunning. My favorite scene of the whole thing is in the opening theme song, that second shot where Thomas goes under the bridge. I mean, come on, that just looks insane. So that's the good. Now on to the bad. Every other review I watched on this project praised it and said it was the best thing to ever happen in life, but I disagree. Nothing's perfect. Everything has something to nitpick, and I found a couple of things I can nitpick about this. The one thing I mainly wished for is a better moral. I honestly can't really figure out the moral of the story here. I think the story would have worked better if instead of Toby's old line being reopened and him going back to the good old days, I wish there would have been something about how whether you realize it or not, these are the good old days and you'll look back on these days fondly when they are gone and you'll need to learn to appreciate how you're currently living instead of always looking back on the past and trying to replicate it. Now here's the thing, I know the goal here wasn't to make the most amazing story ever, but the point was to bring back the good old days, <laughs> get it, of the classic Thomas stories. But for me, it would have been more enjoyable if it had a stronger moral. But honestly, I'm making this seem like a big deal, but it isn't. The story works damn well either way, and it still feels like a classic Thomas episode no matter what. Also, I get that this was done for copyright purposes, but all the music it's, is pitched down a half step, which just kind of throws the whole thing off a little bit. But let's talk about Toby as a character in this episode. The episode fits in with Tomi Toby's more worrisome Season 5 persona. In Season 5, the show downgraded Toby to more of a warrior instead of a wise engine as he was in Seasons 1-4. through four. I like how Project Tiger Moth fits in with Toby being worried more often, but that doesn't necessarily mean I like Toby being a worried character. In Seasons 1, 2, and 3, Toby would never worry about Sir Topham Hat not caring about branch lines. So the character downgrade is a little confusing, but that's more to the fault of Season 5 than Project Tiger Moth. Where do we go from here? 
This is a question I've been asking myself in the past few days. What do we, as a fandom, improve on next? Well, that's a difficult question. The fact that members of the community can make a full replica of a Season 5 style episode is absolutely incredible. And I'm not one to say that we've peaked as a fandom because that implies that we can only go down from here. But I'm sure that we'll just keep improving and innovating so much to the point where we can't innovate anymore. And I think that's a good thing. Thank you for watching. This has been uh, the Ellsbridge Engine, not Murdoch Man 2507. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.